A year ago, we replaced the transfer case, the gearbox on our Land Rover Defender 2.4 TDCI, so it's time for a review. We had a rebuilt LT230 transfer case and we had the stock MT82 gearbox. Last year, we bought from Winchester Gears in the UK an LT230 US spec with ATB, 300M shafts and stock ratio transfer case and an MT82 performance gearbox. We also have the LOF output shaft and LOF power spec clutch kit. LOF clutch was installed a while ago and LOF output shaft is a new one received already installed in Winchester Gears parts. Winchester Gears LT30 transfer case is their most complete version. It has triple sleeve casing and a brand new set of gears. We chose to add 300M shafts and still keep the stock ratio. Why Winchester Gears? To be honest, we turned to them because we had an unbelievably bad experience going on regarding our transfer case and we just wanted to have everything done properly and have our Land Rover Defender back on track for our next adventures. Can you imagine we had our transfer case rebuilt and changed two times in less than two years? Mm -hmm. Crazy, right? First, I'm gonna go with the backstory on why we replaced these parts. And next, it will be our feedback on Winchester gears. At 117,000 kilometers, my husband destroyed the transfer case while off-roading. And he replaced it with a rebuild from Ashcroft, but without the exchange unit option because the box was unusable. It was destroyed. This Ashcroft transfer case started leaking inside the sleeve casing at about 30,000 kilometers, even though we took it with the sleeve casing to avoid any leakage because this is a well-known issue on the LT230. It was disappointing because our stock transfer case never leaked during its lifespan of 117,000 kilometers. So we had this leaking going on and even though we were happy with Ashcroft parts, we were disappointed by the assembly. So we didn't want to order from them again. This is where when a French craftsman was claiming loudly <laughs> on Facebook his skills in rebuilding leak-free cases for Land Rover Defenders. My husband decided to give him the job, meaning rebuilding our leaking transfer case and also replacing some parts with HD ones. It wasn't an easy path. We had to drive the Defender to our mechanic in France, have him take out all the parts, leave the Defender at our mechanics, put all the parts in another car and drive with this other car 700 kilometers to reach the French craftsman, leave the parts over there, drive back home 700 kilometers again, wait a week and do everything again a week after. Mm. This French craftsman did open the transfer case in front of my husband when he arrived over there and he did confirm where the leak was coming from. So it was this sleeve casing that was badly made and it was moving so a leak was obvious. Other parts were still good but it was decided that he was still going to replace them with HD parts. Long story short, my husband did offer this craftsman to replace our LT230 casing with one that he had in his workshop. The craftsman declined and he confirmed that he would be able to rebuild a leak-free transfer case with our casing. One month after reinstalling our rebuilt transfer case, it was leaking again. The craftsman was informed, then was informed several times and he only replied four months later. He didn't offer a suitable after-sales service even though this rebuild was warranted for one full year. During all that wait time and also being treated like crap, we decided we would go for a real company that would treat respectfully the customers and would also provide good work rather than having the work done again by an unprofessional who claims 
he's a professional. Okay, that was the transfer case story. I tried to make it as condensed as possible. Now, while you replace the gearbox too, it was starting to make some noises and it was now leaking from the output shaft seal. So regarding our big project and the well-being of our Land Rover Defender, we decided it would be a good idea to replace it too as Winchester gears had an upgraded version of it. Now, we decided to keep and resell our old gearbox and also the leaking rebuilt transfer case. We didn't go for the exchange unit offered by Winchester gears. We sold them at a good price and in fact, <laughs> fun story about that, mm, I would say like cherry on the cake is that it was in fact this French craftsman who informed one of his friends that we were selling our old parts. So it was his supposedly friend who contacted us to buy and come and get these parts. And the French craftsman informed us that he would rebuild all these parts properly for his friend. So it's along about his professionalism and his business honesty. In any case, it was a joy to welcome his friend and watch him <laughs> take all these heavy parts. But if you like drama stories, I might make a video just about this story and also explain what we learned through all this bad experience like this. You don't get scammed <laughs> like we did. Now Winchester Gears feedback. Previous parts were going okay and it was really only this very annoying leaking that was causing the issue. Now, since the replacement of the transfer box and the gearbox adding up to the LOF power spec clutch, there's a difference. The Defender is pleasant to drive, gears go through easily, and there's no more noise in the transmission. You know, no more clonk, clonk. They also provide a real <laughs> customer service. I have two examples here. First, we were concerned because parts had moved during transfer transportation and unfortunately there was a chip on one of the parts. As non-mechanics we didn't know if this could create an issue over time and we were stressed because we had an appointment with our mechanic a few hours later for the install. Tom from Winchester Gears did offer to replace the part but finally we didn't after evaluating properly the situation with his help. Second, we had an issue with the center diff lock sensor and they simply sent us another one without further questions. So we were able to fix this issue really quickly. So even though they are far away, they are able and they are willing to offer a great customer service. Winchester Gears do share their work on social media. So you can see their workshop and how they work, which I think is quite nice. So regarding our experience with Winchester gears, we're happy to recommend them to any Land Rover owner. Another useful information, they use Swepco oils, which are good oils, but aren't easily found in Switzerland and in Europe. They aren't especially expensive, but when you add the shipping cost, it can become expensive. Another point about these Swepco oils is that the ones for the transfer case and the gearbox are of the same color, a blue color. So if you have the same color in your two different cases and have a leak, you won't be able to know from which it comes from without disassembling everything. Now, what's next with our transmission setup? Because you know, it, it's never over. We had a really bad surprise last December. We had broken screws in our rear diff. We were able to replace them with the help of Nigel from XS 4x4 in the UK. We now know we have this weak point in our transmission and we will certainly have it modified by Nigel as he's an expert in this field. I want to finish this video by saying thank you to Tom from Winchester Gears to have helped us and provided us with quality parts and assembly when we were in a conflictual situation and and I also want to say thank you to Nigel for helping us and also providing us very informative explanations. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.